Labour chief Ng Chi Meng is likely to run for the next general election, but in constituencies such as Jirong GRC or Ang Mokyo GRC, said political observers. They added that he will probably not return to Sengkong GRC, where a former People's Action Party team, led by Mr. Ng lost to the Workers' Party during the 2020 general election with 47.88% of the votes. Speculation on Mr. Ng making a comeback during the next general election intensified when he made an appearance at a Hori Rai Adolfi Tree event organized by the Fairprice Group in Bukit Batak on April 21. Bukit Batak sitting MP, Mr. Muroli Pillai, from the PAP, was also at the event. However, Mr. Ng told reporters on April 25 that people should not read too much into the event and that such appearances are part of Ntuk's regular groundwork. A cabinet minister has traditionally held the post of NTUC secretary-general. The practice began with Mr. Lim Chion, who was the first Labour chief to be appointed minister in the Prime Minister's office in 1980. Mr. Ng, who has been NTUC secretary-general since 2018, is the first Labour chief in decades, who is not also a sitting MP. Despite not being a current PEEP MP, his continuing as NTUC Secretary-General in the past four years indicates that the ruling party leadership has significant plans for him should he be elected. Said Singapore Management University Associate Professor of Law Eugene Tan. The symbiotic relationship between the PAP and NTUC makes it imperative for Mr. Ng to be elected if he is to continue as the Labour chief. Professor Tan added, there are options for the PAP as to where he could be fielded, but it is unlikely he will be fielded in an SMC and even more unlikely to be fielded again in Sengkong GRC. Observers suggested that Mr. Ng is likely to be fielded in a PAP stronghold in state. Dr. Mustafa Izadin, a senior international affairs analyst at Solaris Strategies Singapore, said that as Mr. Ng is seen as being a member of the 4G team, there is a high likelihood that he may be fielded in one of the safer GRCs for the coming election. With Mr. Ng being spotted in Bukit Batak, one possibility is that he may lead the Jirong GRC team, which is without an anchor minister after Mr. Taman Shamugaram stepped down in June 2023 to contest and subsequently win the presidential election. While they are separate constituencies, both Bukit Batak and the five-member Jirong GRC come under Jirong Clementi Town Council, together with the single seat of Yuhua. In the 2020 general election, a PEP team led by Mr. Taman secured almost 75% of the vote in Jirong GRC, the highest of any electoral constituency. In contrast, in Bukit Batak SMC, Mr. Murali scraped a win with 54.8% of the votes. Based on the 2020 general election results, Pasa Rispangal GRC, Ong Mo Kyo GRC and Bishantoa Peo GRC are also relatively safe seats for the PEP. Noted Professor Tan. The PEP secured 64.16% of the vote in Pasa Rispangal, 67.23% in Bishantoa Peo, and 71.91% in Ong Mo Kyo, where Prime Minister Li Xin Long is anchor minister. Professor Tan added, Mr. Ng was an MP in Pasar Rispangal between 2015 and 2020, so he would still be fairly familiar to voters there. He could also be regarded as the possible successor to PM Lee in Ong Mo Kyo GRC. Otherwise, he could be portrayed as the new anchor in Bishantoa Peo GRC should Defence Minister Ng Ng Hen not contest or relinquish his anchor role. This week, when the Straits Times visited some of the constituencies where Mr. Ng could be fielded. Residents said it will be an uphill task for the NTUC Secretary-General to replace former or current MPs who have served the community for a long time.
residents and merchants, shops and eateries in Bukit Batak, spoke effusively of how Mr. Muroli, who has been serving the single-seat ward since the 2016 by-election, is a consistent presence and a friendly one. Among them was actor Abhi Shankarao, 36, who lived in Bukit Batak for most of his life and still visits family in the area on a regular basis. He described Mr. Murali as mal-mannered. Amiable and someone who is always in touch with the people, whether or not it is election season. A resident who wanted to be known only as Mr. Lim, 66, said, He comes around the neighborhood quite a lot. So I appreciate it because I have been staying here for over 30 years. Other Bukit Batak residents, like a retiree who wanted to be known only as Mr. Tang, 65, welcomed the idea of a new face like Mr. Ng. I think the government needs him to run because he is a workhorse. They need people to do the work, and it's not just about managing the estate, said Mr. Tang. He is probably someone up and coming. And the PAP needs people because the older ministers are tired after COVID-19, he added. In Jurong GRC's Tomon Jurong Ward, where President Thaman was formerly MP, residents and storeholders were happy for Mr. Thaman's success in the presidential election. But believe his successor will have big shoes to fill. Madam Fatima Begum Sekanda, 50, said Mr. Thaman came by the three-story Tomon Jurong Market and Food Centre, where she has had a briony stall since 2009. Almost every week. He took note of everything and cared for us. I'm a single parent as well, so he always asked, what help do you need, said Madam Fatima. It feels empty now that he doesn't come by. She lamented. It was a sentiment mirrored by Ms. Rin Hoshim, 38, who owns Malay food stall signer Riziki. She has run the stall for 13 years. I don't think anybody can replace him. She said. On May 4, Mr. Ng made another appearance in Serangoon North Avenue 3 at a fair price group May Day block party that was also attended by Pete MP Ng Ling Ling. Ms. Ng is the representative for Jalan Keo, which comes under Ong M.O. Keo GRC. At the event, Ms. Ng said the Labour chief had described residents in the area as very warm and welcoming. ST spoke to several residents at the event, all of whom said it was the first time they were seeing Mr. Ng. One couple in their 60s, who declined to be named, had approached him to ask if supermarket prices could be lowered. People in our age group talk about prices of everyday goods at supermarkets being expensive, the woman said. Her husband said, Mr. Ng listened and explained that the prices of all things at fair price cannot all drop. There were certain considerations, he told us. Another resident, who wanted to be known only as Mr. Lee, wondered if there was more to the visit. I have not seen him here, except for today's block party. The man said. MP Ng Ling Ling, describing Mr. Ng, calling the estate very warm, could it mean there's more to it? Will he stand here during the next GE?